Hi, this is Dr. Fryer. Today is October the 14th, 2023, and I'd like to show you how you can change the opacity or the transparency of an image in Google Slides. We're doing this for our media literacy class. And so I have found a picture here of John Glenn, and I'd like to use that on a little info pic. And I've gotten a quote that we found here on Rainy Quote. And so I'm going to just go ahead and paste in this picture. Um, I want this picture to actually fill the whole frame, so I'm going to drag it so that it fills the whole frame. And <clears throat> this picture has, um, it, it doesn't have just a great, fantastic uh, place. This is President Obama, I think, presenting the Medal of Freedom to astronaut John Glenn. Um, I can move it to the back so I can right click it, or while I have it selected, I can go up to Arrange Order and send to back, but that quotation just doesn't doesn't um, stand out really good there. And so um, I'm going to move it down a little bit too. So what am I going to do about that? Um, well, um, if I select the picture, you can click in Google on Format Options, and one of the Format Options that you have is Adjustment. And under Adjustments, let me move my picture over a little bit. Um, there's opacity, and so it's a slider, and so you can slide that and change that. Um, Thirty percent, something like that, is oftentimes what I will will use. Um, and you know, you don't you don't want the text to cover the most important parts of the slide. Um, and so, with this particular picture, I don't know if I could actually, I guess it's going to be all the way over there. I don't know. This may not be the most fantastic example in the world. I don't want it to really cover up his face. So let's do that. We'll make that smaller and put it over there on the side. Okay. But can you see that? Um, I don't know. It may, uh, there's other, other options that you can do, but this is image opacity. Um, you may want to go ahead and leave the opacity, you know, set all the way, but you would certainly want to do something to make this text, you know, stand out and pop a little bit more. Um, so, you know, I could do something like make it lighter, um, different colors here. I'm not entirely, I'm not entirely happy with that. This example isn't just the most fantastic one. Um, The main thing that I wanted to do was demonstrate image opacity. So, I don't know. Working with pictures, you've got different different kinds of options. So, um, it's not too bad. Now, definitely, when you do the image opacity like that, and this is setting it to 30%, it definitely makes the text pop a lot more. Um, and I can go ahead and make it a little bit larger um, that way. Again, you don't want the text to be on top of of the person's face, um, but that's not too bad. Um, it's a little bit better. So anyway, info picks, you want the text to be easily readable. You want the text to um, not be in conflict with the background to clash. Um, and so opacity is a good trick to have in your toolbox. So um, if you're a student, you already know this, but uh, you can go to my website, which is lessons.westfriar.com, um, and you can access all of the media literacy lessons that we're doing there, as well as our wonder links, which are things that we talk about from time to time, um, which are just kind of amazing and related to technology. Okay, that's it. Thanks.